Hi everyone, this is Mithun. Today we are going to discuss about Jenkins and installation of Maven and configuration of Maven. Uh, in the previous sessions, we have already learned about how to set up a Jenkins pipeline in a declarative script. So today, uh, we will show uh, we will go ahead and show how to install maven and configure the first step in installation of a maven that is we have to download uh, from uh, from the maven uh, that is a maven website we have to download the maven to a folder or a directory that is opt maven uh, by using the url we're going to uh, we're going to download the tar file we're going to untar it and we will check the files and we're going to create a bash file bash profile so that we will declare or configure uh, m2 underscore home m2 path and uh, m2 home bin so all this information we will configure the configure it and once the configuration is done then we will go ahead and create a uh, you know log into uh, jenkin console and install the maven uh, plugin first and then once the maven plugin is installed uh, the in plugin is maven in invoker and we're going to uh, install it without restart so once it is done then we will go ahead and uh, create a global configuration tool uh, that is a location where exactly we have to specify the maven is installed so that is nothing but your home once it is done then we will go ahead and try to run a manual uh, build of a code so let's quickly uh, jump into our um, jenkins server so i'm i'm using a jenkins server that is uh, on an ec2 server t2 micro that we have already used in the earlier classes so let me just connect to the server itself so let me see the uh, slash root so we are in the root file Let's see uh, ls minus l do we have any files yeah we have one patch so let me just uh, open up uh, the opt file slash opt so ls minus l we don't we have aws and rh file so we're going to create a directory here m a m k d i r then m a v e n so cd m a v e n that is maven and um, ls minus l so do we have any of that's here no so we're going to download uh, the maven here so I'm going to open a uh, Google Explorer. Okay, in Google Explorer, we are going to search for Maven. Maven Apache download. So the first link that is Maven Apache.org. That's the one we go to look for and here we have the download so maven apache 3 3.8.6 that's the version available right now i'll just copy the link address i'll just paste it here so that i can download that files so ls minus l if i do it i have a tar file so i'm going to untar it minus x bzf minus apache so i'm going to untar this file in the same place so ls minus l and let me see i have a apache maven 3.8.6 so i will just cd it and ls minus l so what are the files available i have been boot and config lib and all the other files are available so the first step that we are trying to do that is here um, we have created a file and we have downloaded and we have undone the file so up till this step we are uh, good to go 
so here we will get to the root directory cd slash root and i have we have to create a bash file here bash underscore profile so i already have created a bash file for java and for home i've just updated the same code uh, in the video session so that means we are m2 underscore home that is the location what we are specifying here and m2 is also we are specifying m2 uh, underscore home slash pin there's the m2 path and the path underscore java path and java home m2 all this information has been updated and export the path so we have configured the path here i'll just save and quit so that is we have performed our first path so now coming down to the second step that is uh, we will take the ip address ip address of ipv4 ip address of this uh, and open a new page here that is this one port 8080 and uh, i'm going to open the ja jenkins frontend okay i have the jenkins here and the first step i have to do is come to the dashboard and manage jenkins here i have to come to manage plugins and the available plugins that is uh, maven invoker so since i've already installed uh, in is running the extensions so if we are doing a installation at the first time we will have an option to run uh, jenkins without restart so we install and restart we have to do it so once it is done we will come down to manage jenkins again and we'll go to global uh, tool configuration in global tool configuration uh, we have already have the kit which has already been installed and we'll come to maven and maven installation let's see see we have just uh, i'll just delete this one for the time time being i'll create a new one i'll just uh, write the name as maven and the location is um, we already mentioned that you know where exactly the location that is uh, here that is 8.3.8.6 okay that's location we go we are going to take slash opt so if there is an issue it will show up so let me okay slash okay so bye but there should be something which is not showing the maven home proper let me go to the ac2 then the location here that is slash cd slash opt slash maven slash apache and ld pwd so we have the exact location let me just copy this one here just copy that and i'll come down to my maven i'll paste it here so that is that maven okay so i need it so i'll just apply this location now it is not showing any errors and i've saved that and now coming down to our first step that is create a new item uh, i'll try maven test one so and i'm going to create a maven project 
Okay. So it is in Git. I have to take that uh, Git repository. So let me open my GitHub. Okay. So uh, I have a GitHub repository here for a Java application. I'll just copy it. This is not created by me. Uh, it is some of my friend which is created for me. So I'm just using that link here, the Java application. And uh, we will we will just go ahead and update update that URL. And since it is since it is a private, it's a pub public. So I'm not using any credential. If it is a private, then we should use the credentials here. And uh, it is not master. It is from the main since my branch is specified as slash main so that's good to go and root is uh, pom.xml and uh, install package yes psc package and apply and save now we will just go ahead and build test one and see how it works. So here we have seen that, you know, the build is in progress. Maybe this uh, the build is happening at the first time. Uh, it may take a little longer. Let's see how much time it's going to take it up. So we will go to the console output. It's checking for the details here and it is going through all the process and it shows that you know finished success so let's open this one and it is build has been already been created and it just shows us green that means the build is a success so we will uh so we have the maven test that is a uh, manual build uh, which is which shows it's perfect now um, and modules and uh, configurations everything seems to be okay and here when we come down output console we have the details okay so that means our var file would have been created so we are not going in depth to it so uh, view plain text okay this is not required right now so uh, we are good to go now that means we have created uh, gen, uh, we have installed maven and configured maven and we try to run a build a java application on maven so in the upcoming session we are going to talk about build a maven project using declarative pipeline pipeline so that will be the next topic that we will be discussing about and i hope that you are able to understand all this information i'm going to share this uh, information in my um, uh, youtube so uh, if you have any questions or any comments please do update that information i will try to answer from my best of my efforts and uh, thank you for watching and you all have a great day